Hey my village, it's your coach Mo again back with a new video. This topic is who are you? When I talk about who are you, a lot of people I notice get lost in the title of being a mom and that's what it's pretty much pertaining about. Um, who are you? You're not just the titles that you hold. You are a person inside. Like me, I'm a coach, I'm a mom, I'm a student, I'm a mentor. I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, but that's not me. I'm still Monique. I still have another identity of being me, myself, my personality, my character. Those titles that I hold don't define who I am. And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, you are more than just a mom. You're more than just a sister. You're more than just a wife or a girlfriend. You're more than just those titles. And I want to help you guys figure out who you are deep down inside with that name. Who are you? I'm Monique. <laughs> who is Monique truly? That's what I want you to help fig um, figure out. Uh, don't get lost in those titles because it will tear you up a lot of people are like oh I'm a bad mom oh I'm a bad this that's just the title you hold you're still a person you're still a good person you still mean well as that person that you actually truly are don't let those titles ruin you if you get divorced and you're no longer a wife and you lose a title or you lose your child and you feel like you're no longer a mom you still will have those titles, but you still have to live on to be the person you truly are deep down inside as well. When I ask people all the time, they always, I say, who are you? And they'll always leave with, oh, I'm a mom, I'm this, I'm that. But I'm like, no, that still don't tell me who you are. <laughs> so I designed a, a program that is specifically for moms um, who have been lost in the title of being a mom or a girlfriend or a wife. And they forgot who they were because they built their self around that title and not living their true self. They want to be the best wife or the best mom or the best girlfriend, but they forget who they are, their passions, their desires, their dreams, and put all that on hold and mask their true desires to be a title and live up to those statistics of those titles. I want you to focus on self-care. This program focuses on you creating hobbies, figuring out what is it that you used to do before you had a child or before you had that title. Did you used to paint? Did you used to listen to music, write music, write poems, read a lot of books, things like that. Sorry, my earring came off. But um, focus on life, work-life balance, focus on time management, Focus on um, setting healthy boundaries because that's pretty much what usually happens is that you don't set boundaries to set yourself aside time for yourself. You feed into doing everything that that title require and nothing that you require. So I'm extending um, an invitation for my new program. Well, it's not a new program. It's my most popular program. It's like a four or five week program for those moms lost in the title of being a mom and a wife and they forgot who they were and I wanna help them bring themselves back to who they are so that they can live their full purpose. We focus on figuring out who you really are, getting back to who you are. Also, um, marrying who you really are with their title. They can both exist. And some people try to make it seem like, oh, you can't be a mom and you can't do this because you're a mom. No, you are a mom, that's just a title, but you're still a person. So why can't you live your best life and be a mom at the same time. Uh, we're focusing on time management, work-life balance, healthy lifestyle uh, living. Um, you will leave the program knowing who you are, knowing how to master time and manage work-life balance, being able to identify your purpose, because that's really important. Loving yourself again, because a lot of people beat their self up because they have lost their self, so they resent their kids. Um, that's really sad because I see it in a lot of moms often resent having kids because they're like, my life stopped because I became a mom and they don't have to. And that's why I want to encourage you guys to focus on yourself. You can still live your best life. You can be a mom. You can be an entrepreneur mom, which I call mompreneurs. You can still go back to school. You can start your business. It don't matter how many kids you have, how much you're struggling. You still have time to build a legacy for those kids and you can pass on. They need to see you happy. 
Your kids deserve to see you happy. And you'll be able to do this without the parent guilt. The reason I started this program was because one, like two, three years ago, my son went away to his dad. We co-parent and we were co-parenting from a distance because his dad was in the military his whole life. Um, so once he was out in the military and he was still in Florida, my son haven't seen him for three and a half years and he wanted to spend the month of December with his dad. It would be the first time he ever spent Christmas with his dad. So took a leap of faith, prayed about it, let him go. But once he was gone for a whole month, I discovered like my whole life and everyday planning was surrounded around my son because I was homeschooling him. I was working at home at that time. I, was, um, I wasn't in grad school anymore. I had to take a break. And then I was um, working and had my business. I had no idea what to do with myself when he was gone. I was like, what am I gonna do? I was bored, I was lost. So I started focusing on self-reflecting, focusing on what hobbies I had. I brought out all my sewing machines. I'm like, oh, I have four sewing machines sitting here collecting dust. I love to make clothes. My first business was a boutique. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm about to make clothes because that's what I used to do before I had a kid. And I was cooking a lot. I started going to the spa. I started reading a lot more books because that was my passion. I had a whole bookshelf full of books that I haven't even caught up on, but I just kept buying books, buying books, buying books, but never read them. So I went back to doing those things, reading and writing. I started writing a book actually about all this <laughs> and it was like reintroducing myself to myself i was relearning myself i would do date nights by myself go to the movies go out to eat pamper everything without guilt at first in the beginning it took about a week or two I'm like i feel bad for doing this for myself which is a lot of parents issues they always feel um parent guilt for doing for themselves, and it's okay that you want to do for yourself um, but that's why what triggered me to build this program because I talked to friends and uh, my friends are all moms and they're entrepreneurs and they felt the same way. Like whenever their kids go with the other parent, they're like, I don't have anything to do. What to do? What do you do when you don't have your kid? And I wanted to help fix that. So <laughs> I'm extending out. I only have space for about three women. The program is normally $6.97, but I'm giving a special offer right now for $4.97, and you'll be able to work one-on-one -on -one with me for four to five weeks. I might give a bonus week, and you're going to be rediscovering and reintroducing yourself to yourself, and it's going to be an amazing journey. This is my most popular program. That's why I won't take it away, because every year, people book this program the most. But I want to help you moms. I know we are not okay at home right now <laughs> with all our kids, but maybe you can have, share your hobby with your kid. My son wanted to learn how to sew. So I was able to marry me, my passion, and my hobby with teaching him. So you never know. He likes to read. So that's one hobby we can do together. It can coexist. And that's what I wanted to let you guys know. Message me or book you a breakthrough call on my website whenever you're ready to invest. Um, and we'll go from there. Until next time, Coach Mo out.